This will be video mix 158. One of Enigma video mix 158. I've saved already several voice recordings, but I want to upload this one first because I want to make a little exception and translate this one into German too and Spanish anyway on my YouTube channel Vanos Enigma Español Some of the things I've said already in my previous videos but I want to create a summary especially for the German translation In April 2016 I learned something watching uh, YouTube videos I wish I had known a long time before because I think I would have suffered much less from depression but before I talk about what I learned I want to go back in the time of my life my mom told me that already at the age of three I she noticed that I didn't want to wear any skirt I just wanted to wear trousers I only played with cars and not with dolls or Barbies and at the age of five I cut myself the hair <laughs> at the age of 10 more or less an obsession with the body started I really didn't want to convert into a fat woman so at the age about 12 I fell into anorexia it was really very dangerous I almost died I was so very thin I think I might have grown taller but at the age at that, that age it's a very uh, there are many bad consequences of having anorexia at that age when you really need the nutrition for the body so all my body and development was some kind of paralyzed my period menstruation didn't come almost till 18 19 and my hands and feet are still now I'm over 40 um, very I can win weight but there it's it's like only bones and skin there is no fat cells so that has the consequence that I have always suffering always from cold feet and hand and feet is always worse maybe then you get uh, sweat a little but then you actually you would need to change the socks because then it gets cold and if you have the cold socks at, and long time it's so in the end I, I often suffer from chronic throat disease throat um, infection and of course the mood uh, <laughs> you know I think you know yourself uh, cold hands and feet you don't feel comfortable so uh, before 18 or 19 when my period finally started before I was always some kind of isolated I was really different from the other children in the school and of course always wearing trousers and but I didn't think so much about this gender problem so 
from the age of 18 or 19 then I started slowly to wear a little bit more female clothes but uh, yeah actually just because I liked boys and I had my first boyfriend at the age of 18 but I was never very happy with my body especially with my breasts so at the age of 27 actually I wanted to be more flat but I was was not thinking about the <laughs> to uh, that there's a possibility to change yeah change the sex so they convinced me to put implants so I got that big boobs implants so now I'm a little over 40 and I sometimes I had uh, some little problems with these implants and actually I was often afraid if I have to do another surgery and I've got two spots on my breast long time I thought oh maybe it's skin cancer but I was often feeling very uh, depressed and ask myself how would I react if they tell me you have uh, cancer and I as I really was now many years very depressed I told myself oh uh, anyway I feel like I want to fall asleep and not wake up again I I didn't go to the doctor a long time but now finally some weeks ago I went and she said it's it does not seem like cancer but anyway um, I feel a little um, that I at least I need to observe that and I never saw myself as mother with children I always thought I want to be self-employed and uh, not financially dependent on any men and all my life I was very afraid to get pregnant or any sexual disease and although for these many years now I've been living on my own and almost no relationship at all uh, although I've been taking now more than 20 years the pill and but now I stopped because I got to know that it lowers uh, testosterone in body of women uh, much more so that that has the consequence that uh, older women feel even less sex drive libido and that's really true uh, <laughs> these uh, last uh, almost like 10 years I feel like with my sex drive under the basement and that has the consequence that you feel more depressed and without motivation and that's the reason why many relationships uh, break up when the women lose their sex drive. By the way, uh, 
testosterone is a secret female hormone hormone of course the primary is um estrogen and i want to say men normally have some more or less seven times more testosterone than women and what i found very interesting is that testosterone in high doses in women has the effect that the period stops the menstruation <laughs> and now many years i'm hiding uh, behind the profile picture of a cat and i said like uh, my my cat ears went like cling <laughs> oh this is very interesting because that's exactly what i want but uh, maybe the most important effect I'm interested in is that the blood circulation will be better. Even the hands and feet may, might grow a little, uh, not the body in, uh, in length, but um, and uh, of course more muscles. But um, for me personally, this seems very positive because uh, especially if it's cold I'm always suffering very much from these uh, cold hands and feet and bad blood circulation I watched many videos about FTM which is abbreviation for female to male and many tell that they feel much warmer oh, sweating <laughs> and they tell another very positive effect many uh, suffering from depression depression like me and always crying and they say after starting the testosterone they are psychologically much more strong and don't cry almost no more and this is exactly uh, I'm suffering from this too I often feel like crying without reason and and actually uh, my last job was contract I stopped more or less voluntarily but it was in a moment when I got that feeling of crying again and this was really awkward but I I said a different excuse but actually this was depression and and watching uh, more videos about the people FTM they talk about the top surgery mastectomy um, I want to do that too sooner or later I have uh, these four reasons first and the family I have um, several cases of breast cancer and anyway I do not want to keep the the nipples uh, I never liked that somebody touched my my nipples and and I've got these two spots which look like um, skin cancer and they would get removed too because it's just by the way third reason my fear uh, that there might be something wrong with these implants the breast implants and the fourth reason the harmony of the male body but first of course I want to start the testosterone treatment and as a consequence of the depression these last years 
I was always hiding alone at home behind the computer and I got a very allergic against men spying on me when I go home. Uh, so anyway, I n almost never go out at night and very allergic that, okay, now a long time not, but uh, before men coming to the door and start screaming and banging on the door, uh, I forgot to say, coming without invitation. And just uh, anyway, I always have off my bell. And I think I feel much more comfortable with the appearance of a man. And I <laughs> don't want to... Uh, stay for the rest of my life always only hiding and <laughs> it feels really like uh, get to sleep and not wake up again and so many other things I've got on my to-do list I want to wanted to have them done already long time ago but somehow I feel some kind of uh, like paralyzed or uh, maybe lazy but like uh, without motivation by the way already uh, many years I'm using the name Vanos or Vanos Enigma an internet which is actually only six that name And already three years ago, for some time, I had that hashtag transgender in my Twitter profile. And I got conscious about that word androgyny and um, waiting for permission at the moment to include that word in the title of my YouTube channel. At the moment I've got Vanus Enigma Video Mix FTM, which is abbreviation for female to male, but I want to uh, re replace it by yeah the same Vanus Enigma Video Mix and in the end androgyny because I think I like to dress up sometimes like a drag queen. Anyway, I've got so much experience in being a woman with a period and make some comedy. A drag queen in front of the camera and when I go outside in the street, the men <laughs> And what I wanted to say, I care much more how I feel in my skin than how other people feel when they look at me. Of course, there are some negative sides of the testosterone. For example, uh, normally you have to make an injection every week or it's better every week than two weeks because the level goes too much down and up up and down okay there is cream too but it's much more expensive and the cream you have to apply it every day after the shower and some FTMs make uh, sometimes a break because they are afraid to lose too many hairs on the head but this is a no problem to me because anyway I always like to hide under the cap that's just uh, one really thing I'm afraid of it's acne 
the skin problems especially in the face is <laughs> annoying but are the advantages um, are I want to say there are much more advantages for me and stronger advantages than that problem with acne and for some it's uh, only uh, some time and then it might get better because especially FDMs which are anyway in time of puberty it's very normal and in these last years I got a little allergic against just uh, talking about problem of depression because a friend of my mother uh, said something like ah, uh, if you don't do this and that and long story short uh, that uh, uh, the state would confiscate my property and uh, declare that I'm not uh, able to defend my property. Another reason for the top surgery is that on the streets there's much discrimination, hate and violence and uh, often people, um, especially MTF male to female, get beaten up if they uh, look uh, rather female but still male. This is really sad but true and uh, this is almost uh, more important than just say uh, the optical harmony of the body. It's the fear of getting beaten up. <laughs> In the end everybody stays at home and <laughs> only men are allowed to go out 